वेलकम बैक स्टूडेंट्स इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल लर्न अ स्पेशल थ्योरम द ग्रीन्स थ्योरम फॉर सरफेस इंटीग्रल्स ग्रीन्स थ्योरम इज अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टूल टू परफॉर्म द सरफेस इंटीग्रल ऑफ वेक्टर कैलकुलस सो लेट अस स्टार्ट विद द डेफिनेशन एंड थ्योरम एंड देन प्रोग्रेसिवली विद सम एग्जांपल्स ग्रीन्स थ्योरम so you can see i have written green in the green color but this has nothing to do with the color and the theorem is named after a famous scientist so let us state the green's theorem let c be a closed curve closed curve bounding a region r in xy plane theorem may sustain on any uh, plane xy xz or yz but specifically be learned for xy plane and that can be done in any similar plane so let c be any closed curve bounding a region r in xy plane and phi xy psi xy and their first order partial derivative del phi by del y and del psi by del x are all continuous continuous on r means the region bounded by the curve then the line integral of phi dx plus psi dy over the curve c can be evaluated as the surface integral over the region r of the function del psi by del x minus del phi by del y dx dy means for illustration if this is some curve c in xy plane this is xy plane and the region bounded by this curve c is r then the uh, this vector integral line integral c we have already studied what is line integral then line integral c of this function phi dx plus psi dy can be integrated as the surface integral double integral Over this region, and the integrand will become del psi by del x minus del phi by del y. So let us take our first example of Green's theorem, and the question is a vector vector v is defined as v is equal to sin y i plus x plus 1 plus cos y x times 1 plus cos y x times 1 plus cos y j this is a vector defined evaluate evaluate the integral of v along the circle along the circle circle is given by x square plus y square is equal to a square so evaluate this integral along the circle means we need to find the line integral so line integral let i is equal to this v dot dr and this c denotes this circle given by x square plus y square is equal to a square we already know that line integral is uh, written as integral this v dot dr and what is this we have already learned in previous lecture if you did not just go back to that lecture line integrals path integral and learn that and then come to this lecture again so what we need to compute 
v dot dr and you can see that v has component sin x sin y i plus this and dr in the xy plane will have the component dxi plus dyz so once i am writing as this uh, first question so this sin y i plus x 1 plus cos y j this and what is dr dr is dx i plus dy j and now this will become sin y dx plus x times 1 plus cos y dy this and this integration is being taken on x y plane now because we need to use the green's theorem so this sin y as p and x 1 plus cos y as q so we will are we use the symbols phi and psi so i am taking phi and psi here so this this is phi and this is psi so what you need to write that this is equivalent to double integral over the region r bounded by circle and region bounded by circle is a disk so this del psi y del x minus del phi by del y this dx dy and put the computation of these terms so this is equal to so psi is x times 1 plus cos y you, i am explicitly denoting here treating it the first question psi is x times 1 plus cos y so del psi by del x will become 1 plus cos y this is 1 plus cos y and minus del phi by del x so we have taken phi is equal to sine y so del phi by del y is cos y so minus cos y and dx dy so we just obtain this double integral over the region bounded by circle dx dy and you know this is the area of circle so this can be written without integration as pi a square so this is how uh, green's theorem simplifies uh, problem let us take another example and that is use green's theorem theorem to evaluate the integral c 2x square minus y square dx plus x square plus y square dy where where c is c is closed curve formed by the upper half upper half of the circle x square plus y square is equal to a square and the part of x axis part of x axis from minus a to a means if we draw this in x y plane let this is x plane this is this is x axis and y axis and we have this circle c given by x square plus y square is equal to a square obviously the radius is a this is point minus a this is point plus a so the circle so the curve c it precisely consists of this part of circle and this part of x axis so this is complete say and actually this c is not a circle this is circle x square plus y square is equal to a square this is circle and c is the complete path so now let us solve the problem means let us evaluate so we uh, denote the integral given as i 2x square minus y square dx plus x square plus y square dy and this curve closed curve c you can 
uh, assume this first function as phi and this second function as psi. So you just need to write this integral using Green's term and the region bounded by and what is the region bounded by? This is the whole region means half circular disk. This is the region, so just you will need it del psi by del x, and that will become 2x minus del phi by del y, and that will become minus 2y. And integral is taken over the region, so it is dx dy. Thus, we have precisely two times integral over the region r, and this is x plus y dx dy. You can put the limits of x and y and the integrate, but it is easier to convert this integral into polar coordinates. So let x is equal to r cos theta and y is equal to r sin theta. So we will have limit of r varying from 0 to a, limit of theta varying from 0 to phi you can see for half circle theta varies from 0 to phi and dx dy will be r dr d theta so we can write this integral i as this is equal to two times double integral over the region r as r cos theta plus r sin theta r dr d theta and now put these limits so this 0 to a limit for r 0 to pi limit for theta and this become r square sin theta plus cos theta dr d theta and because all the limits are constant so you can in independently integrate the variables so r become r cube by 3 and takes the limit 0 to a sin theta cos theta become minus cos theta plus sin theta and take limits 0 to pi you put these limits so sin theta will vanish cos theta my, uh, from my pi uh, 0 to pi this will be 2 so and we have 4 a cube by 3 this is our integral and Green's theorem simplifies it and take our third example and this says that evaluate evaluate the integral over some curve c and this is actually x dy minus y dx divided by x square plus y square and c is given by a curve and the curve is in this line so this i am drawing here this and a circle so this just assume this is origin and this is a circle circle c1 and the rectangular path so first you start at the point i you can see it marked as red you go through the rectangular means straight lines then come back to this point and finally complete the circle in clockwise direction so this is the path and for the measure of path the circle is given circle c1 is given as x square plus y square is equal to 1 and obviously because this the circle is of radius 1 so this point is 1 and this point is minus 1 other points are also given this point is 1 comma 2 and this point is minus 1 comma 2 then obviously other points and this this is minus 1 comma minus 2 and this is 1 comma minus 2 so we have all points and this is the complicated path c along which we have to integrate this curve so you can see this is very typical very tough to evaluate this integral along the path but we will use green's theorem so 
let i is given by this uh, is given name to this uh, integral so just put this in the uh, form y by x square plus y square dx that is your standard form plus x by x square plus y square dy so you can write this function as phi and this function as psi so what you just need to calculate is the partial derivative of psi with respect to x and partial derivative of phi with respect to y and now we have the integral converted into double integral over the region r what is the region r actually this bounded region this region is r and i think this is not clearly visible so let me this bounded region this bounded region is r means we will convert the integral for the surface integral and will be integrated on this region r so uh, just you need to write del psi by del x minus del phi by del y and i hope you can calculate the partial derivatives we have done it several times in many other lectures and this comes out to be double integral r this is actually y square minus x square for del psi by del x x square plus y square whole square minus x square minus y square by uh, plus this plus x square minus y square by x square plus y square whole square this for del phi by del y and you can see these two factors are cancelling each other y square minus x square plus x square minus y square so this just become double integral of 0 dx dy and that means 0 so we have integrated very easily but using green's theorem and direct integration is can is possible we can integrate directly we have to integrate on this circle then all these one two three four five paths and then we will find the zero so direct integral is sufficiently tough so let us take our last example of this lecture verify Green's theorem for the integral 3x square minus 8y square dx plus 4y minus 6xy dy where c is the closed curve bounding the region bounding the region given by x greater than equal to 0 y less than equal to 0 and the line 2x minus 3y is equal to 6 so first we should draw this region let this be y axis this be x axis and the line intersects the x axis at x is equal to 3 so let this 1 2 and 3 means this is point 3 comma 0 line intersect at this point then line intersect y axis at minus 2, two. so this this point is 0 comma minus 2 line intersect as this point so let us draw this line this is the line that is given by 2x minus 3y is equal to 6 and what is the region so this is the region where we have to evaluate the integral so let us start the evaluation so first we will because question asked to verify Green's theorem means first we will find the result with help of Green's theorem then we will find the result by direct integration so first let i is equal to c 
3x square minus 8y square dx plus 4y minus 6xy dy then you can say this function phi and this function psi so using green's theorem using green's theorem we get i is equal to the double integral over the region bounded by this triangle you can see this is triangular region we have so del psi minus del del psi by del x and that becomes minus 6y minus del phi by del y so this becomes minus 16y and this has to be integrated over the region so we have dx dy and this comes out to be the double integral over the region 10 can be taken outside this is y dx dy so first write the limits this is 10 times limit of x can be taken from 0 to 3 so this is 0 to 3 then in order to find the limit of y you need to draw a vertical strips that we have learned a lot in the previous lectures of uh, integrals definite integrals double integral triple integral so limit of y goes from this line to zero so upper limit is y is equal to zero and lower limit of y is 2x minus 6 by 3 so this is 2x minus 6 by 3 and y dx dy so y has uh, variable integrals it will be integrated first so what we come is what we get is this is equal to 10 times 0 to 3 then y has the integral 1 by 2 y square and the limits are 2x minus 6 by 3 to 0 and dx is remaining here so we get i is equal to i is equal to minus 5 by 9 integral 0 to 3 2x minus 6 whole square after simplifying simplifying the limit and dx and you can integrate this very really this comes out to be minus 20 we just evaluated the given integral using green's theorem and now the question instructs us to verify this verify means evaluate without using green's theorem and show that the answer comes same so let us verify this but for verification we again need to draw the plot of the region so this is xy plane and this this is xy plane this is x axis this is y axis and we had marked that the points 1 2 3 this point 3 comma 0 on x axis and 1 2 this point my 0 comma minus 2 on y axis and this line this line as 2x plus 3y 2x plus 3y 2x minus 3y is equal to 6 this is the equation of line and this we have to integrate what is the x c actually so let us name these points as o a and b then it will be easy to understand this point is o this point is a and this point is b so c is precisely o a and go anti clockwise so ob plus ba plus ao usually uh, we you know the assumptions we have discussed several times that anti clockwise path is assumed to be positive um, uh, oriented path so we uh, are going anti clockwise means first we go from o to b then we go from b to a then we go from a to o so let us integrate the given integral so i can be written as actual integral was c 
2x 3x square c 3x square minus 8y square dx plus 4y minus 6xy dy and because this c is this combined path we have to take this integral on each of these individual paths so we get this integral as 4b plus the integral on ba plus the integral on ao and the function remains same 3x square minus 8y square dx plus 4y minus 6xy dy so let us name these integrals as i1 plus i2 plus i3 and take each individual integral to make our evaluation simpler so let us first consider i1 so i1 is along i was along ob so along ob you can see that x does not vary in fact x is zero so dx is also zero so we can write i1 as this i1 as the integral and x0 dx is 0 so dx is 0 this part is 0 x is 0 so we just find 4y dy and the limit of y varies from 0 to minus 2 so 0 to minus 2 so you can evaluate it as 2y square and the limit is 0 to minus 2 so we have found just the value of this integral as plus 8 so the remain it remains to evaluate i2 and i3 so let us evaluate i2 and i3 uh, i2 is integral from b to a so i2 for i2 means along ba so you can see that ba is the line 2x minus 3y is equal to 6 so either you need to convert y into x or take x into y so let us take y as a function of x so it becomes 2x minus 6 by 3 and then dy becomes 2 by 3 dx so all that you need to put is i2 is equal to this integral and the functions are 3x square and y is converted into 2x and this is 8 times 2x minus 6 by 3 whole square dx this dx minus this 4 minus 6x and y is written as 2x minus 6 by 3 then dy is written as 2 by 3 dx so you can integrate it very easily only function of x and not a complicated function so this comes out to be plus 1 so we have obtained plus 8 for ob integral and plus 1 for b integral now it remains to find the AO, AO integral so along finally along AO along AO you can see y is 0 so because y is 0 dy is also 0 so the i3 just become and and you also need to put the limit here in the first i2 integral so i2 means you go from b to a so y varies from minus 2 to 0 so the limit is minus 2 to 0 you need to put these limits of integration and you will get plus 1 as the value now for i3 so just put y is equal to 0 and dy is equal to 0 so we just get 3x square dx and because x we go from a to o x varies from 3 to 0 and you get minus 27 this is minus 27 and finally you need to put all the things together so i is 
I1 plus I2 plus I3 and that is and there, there is a little mistake this will I2 will come this will be evaluated as minus 1 so finally we have obtained I1 as 8 I2 as minus 1 and then I3 as minus 27 so you get minus 20 as a result that we have already seen by Green's theorem. So finally I hope uh, you have learned the application of Green's theorem and learned how to evaluate line integrals by converting them into surface integral and it two more theorem are two more theorems are there one is Stokes theorem and that deals with the surface integrals and uh, finally a theorem Gauss divergence theorem that uh, plays very important role to evaluate the volume integrals so we will uh, learn them uh, step by step so in the next video I will uh, prepare for the Stokes theorem so keep watching and keep connected